acclaimed Star Wars artist Hugh Fleming returns to the podcast to reminisce about being tapped by Dark Horse Comics to illustrate the now iconic covers of the Phantom Menace comic adaption. The hype, the pressure, and what it was like to receive a thick package filled with spoilers from the first Star Wars film in 16 years. But I can remember the, I can remember the significant photographs. Do you have anything that when you opened it up and you are going through, like you saw something and you're like, what's this? Oh, God. Every couple of pictures, like, oh, my, what's that? Oh, my God. Um, I think the first thing I pulled out was, I mean, on, maybe on the top of... The, the bunch of Xeroxes, there was a shot of, of Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon in the Trade Federation ship in their robes with their lightsaber sticks in the middle of a fight. And, you know, obviously, that blew my mind. I'd never, I was wondering, what's Obi-Wan Kenobi going to look like? What, what are the Jedi going to look like? It was all new. I'm seeing Jedi for the first time in the old days and, and no one else was seeing it. Plus, the pros and cons of Star Wars escapism and how George Lucas is the world's best father. This is Steel Wars episode 198, Hugh Fleming, behind the scenes on the Phantom Menace comic covers.